But uh, uh, elves, elves has a very exciting new new lord in the deck, Leaf Crown Visionary. I think there's a few different ways to build the deck. Uh, I'm not saying I definitely have the best 75 immediately, uh, but I am playing a version with Court of Calling, No Collected Company. I thought for a little while about playing all creatures. I think that you could with Realm Walker and Leaf Crown Visionary as your card advantage engines. I think all creatures is doable. But what I really like about Court of Calling is that you get to be like specifically much better against Fury, which is you know a big issue for you by being able to court for Forge Tinder several times post board. Uh, also being able to court for Collector Oov, Galactique, Reclamation Sage, and those you know. And, and, and potentially other tutor targets you could play over these, I think, is interesting enough that um, Court of Calling is pretty good game one. You can also, of course, court for your powerful tutor targets game one. Get, get, finding access to Heritage Druid more quickly is seems to be really important with Leaf Crown Visionary. Well, uh, this is a hard opening hand. We are on the draw. I think we're at our 17 land deck. Sand is really good if our Land of War Elves lives or we draw land. I would probably mulligan this against an 80 card deck. I think on the draw against 60 I'll keep. <laughs> elves versus Goblins. Ah, they should make a dual deck about Elves versus Goblins. Hey, we draw the land. I always thought Ford Mock Worker Slot for a card doesn't play great in multiple slots. Uh, Realm Walker is a card that is you are so incredibly happy to have in play that it's okay if you have multiples because they're just going to kill it most of the time. I, I've played Elves with Realm Walker a, a bunch in the past. I'm, I like really, really like the card. Okay, top card is Elvish Archdruid. So here we go. Elvish Warmaster into Heritage Druid into Elvish Archdruid. Hopefully I don't have to block with this, but we're going to try to win next turn, I think. So if they have Goblin Grenade, this is see, this is seven. Okay, they have Lightning Bolt. But now I'm going to be able to have blockers, although Legion Loyalist stops a lot of the blockers I have, I guess. <sighs> okay. Uh, tough turn. So I definitely want to tap the... I definitely want to tap the tokens here for mana. And ideally, I'd like to be able to play Leaf Crown Visionary and Elvish Archdruid and have Court of Calling up. I don't know how possible that is. Yeah, what if I just go Leaf Crown Visionary into tap both Elf Tokens and Heritage Druid for Archdruid? Don't pay, obviously. Can't pay. Can't shock this in either. And we have four blockers. We can only court for one. Being able to court for two here to get another one of these to like save this from a bolt is nice. But it may be out of gas though. Is title updated? Uh, for me, it says new and improved elves, but I don't know if it's right for everybody. Castle and we get two more elves. Uh, you only get. Um, this triggers once a turn, and like shocking here against the Goblin Grenade deck seems incorrect. Uh, White Splash is just for sideboard cards. Okay, we have another War Master on top. So we're gonna go block. This is First Strike Trample. Block here. Opponent, my blocks are not final. My blocks are not final, opponent. This takes, this takes, this list makes me take one, and I die to Goblin Grenade next turn. But I only lose one creature, and I can, I can probably kill with a Zuri here, right? Yeah, I could probably kill with a Zuri. <laughs> Famous last words, maybe. But I should just be able to go... Warmaster, Llanowar Elves. Tap these three. Or, sorry, don't tap these three. Oh, I, I can tap these three for mana, so three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So Court of Calling for three. Plus Activate is another two mana. So I would need to... Oh, I guess I'll just tap Elvish War Master to Court of Calling. I would need to Heritage Druid again, right? 
Yeah, maybe Warmaster's ability is just better. I don't my 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 creatures don't gain trample. But I could go Elvish Warmaster, Llanowar Elves. Again, this is gonna be three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, twelve mana. Twelve mana to go seven mana, activate this, five mana court of calling for another lord. And then they go block both three power creatures, take six, five, which is 11, 17, which should be lethal. With elves, there's always a way to kill. It's not uh, always clear, though. <laughs> you can always kill. No, no, we didn't activate this triggered ability any time, but obviously maybe just for a different matchup than this. Oh, I can even cord first for one extra mana. I am cording for another lord here, which is something. Oh, hold on, hold on, actually. I counted this correctly, I think. So I'm going to be floating... Four mana, then three. Yeah, yeah, this is enough. This is seven mana to activate. Okay. Leaf Crown, Heritage Druid, one, two, three. Three... Activate. <laughs> no blocks. <laughs> ah, okay. Um, oh yeah, Forest Wall combo with Yavamaya, huh? So we're going to bring in the Forge Tenders and the Mark of Asylum against most red decks. I think we can cut the second Azuri pretty easily. You can probably cut the Quarian Ranger. Yeah, I love elves. Seems like a bad matchup for Visionary, to be honest. I know this is the new card we're testing, but... I think I'm down to at least trim one copy. Can maybe trim a one-mana elf, too. Maybe trim a wall walk, which is a wall walker. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep in all the cords to be able to cord for Forge Tinder. Thoughts of playing one of Elves Champion for Forest Walk? I think it's, like, unimportant, to be honest. Uh, weird hand. Let's keep. We have a Forge Tinder. Let's have the Mold of Six. Let's have Double Nettle Sentinel so we can find a Heritage Druid or a Court of Calling. We're in good great shape. Uh, we haven't played Goblins yet. I know that I've played more Goblins than Elves on the stream, uh, but Elves elves is like definitely the tribe I like have a softer spot for, so I'm kind of, I guess, more excited for it. Um... I guess I'll play Nettleson until turn one. So, okay, how do they have no one drop? That's fine. Ooh. New card fight. Could maybe have played the um, Warmaster this turn. They have two cards in their hand. Uh. Horizon Land's obviously a little bit awkward in this matchup, but happy enough, I guess, to get the Elvish Archdruid online against opponent with only one card in hand. It can probably end with a fortune to protect it. Was Cavern not good enough to do like counter spells, white cyber cards? I think it's a combination of it's mostly like the white cyber cards for me. And also like the the new the new lord makes you like a lot better against counter spells too. Because he gets down underneath it and like gives you a lot of card advantage in theory. But obviously you can play Cavern. There's a lot of ways to build the deck. So they they only found a mountain off of their Horde Master Trigger, unfortunately. Let's see, so I have... Yeah, I think we'll just still set up this turn. Play War Master into Realm Walker. Probably gonna name Elf. And I'll cast the Dwinin's Elite as well. Likely going to be able to win next turn. I think happy to not attack yet. Yeah, we already talked about Shaman. I think Shaman's worse if you're not playing Coco. I'm playing Cord over Coco since the new Elf Lord provides you card advantage uh, in a way that you don't need as much anymore for Collected Company. Goblin Grenade. Okay, I will prevent. 
Although maybe I should have seen what they flip first. They flip another goblin grenade, but they can't cast it because it's not tribal goblin. They do have another lightning bolt, but I guess I have another arch druid for next turn. I don't think I'm gonna attack. I don't. I don't like the. Idea. They have no cards in their hand. And I'm just gonna kill them next turn. So giving them an extra look at um, a spell seems incorrect. Yeah, goblin grenade should be a tribal goblin. Is it a bug? See the top card for the new creature type. I don't know that we did do that, but you, yeah, you shouldn't be able to. I didn't realize that's what happened. If that is what happened. All right, GG. The double overrun. What's <laughs> it? Seems like a really, yeah, tribal <laughs> classic matchup. Elves versus goblins. Negative 40. Okay, on the play. Love to win the play of the die roll with elves, although we're going to have to mulligan this hand. Uh oh. <laughs> Maybe the run bad continues today, huh? This is me. I'm gonna test my folk. Uh, it's on. My, it's like you know, definitely on my list. I don't. Know, I don't know if I'll get around to it, but I want to. Yeah. There's there's a lot of new stuff to do with the new set. Um. Okay. So let's keep this. I think I'm gonna put back one leaf crown visionary, and then being able to court of calling calling for uh, heritage druid seems nice. So I think on like the small to five. Court of Calling certainly looks like the worst card to me. Might just be a game where we have to draw Heritage Druid or lose. Obviously, Bolt of Five on the play is uh, <laughs> always scary with Elves. Being a deck that's so weak to creature removal. Oh, the, our Hammer Time matchup I think is very good, though. Although we may not win game one. Huh. Okay, let me actually play the Leaf Crown Visionary this turn. Start recouping some of that card disadvantage. Yeah, I love watching Reed play Elves. Ugh, I, I Legacy Elves is a deck that always confuses me. It's I think I think I like I, I feel that I am somewhat proficient with like most decks of Magic, but Legacy Elves is definitely one of those decks that always chips me up some. Ooh, so we can set up for Court of Calling with Heritage Druid. I do think I'm gonna cantrip here. Wow. Okay, can't do anything else this turn. Great pickup. So they have Hammer in their hand. Hopefully they don't have a Sigarda's Aid, but if they tutored Hammer over Cauldron, they probably do. So I think we're probably just dead to the Inkbloth Nexus next turn, unfortunately. I don't think we're going to be able to win this turn. But boy, would it be sweet. I think we say no. Yeah, just super dead. Oh, so I should have played the Nettle Sentinel first. A little bit of rust, I guess. Not that not that we really have a chance here. This is game one, so maybe we could try to set up for a Court of Calling for Reclamation Sage. Tough game to like mold a five and also be on like a slow card advantage draw when we definitely need to be on something a bit more impactful. I think if we draw like exactly Nettle Sentinel, maybe we have a chance here. Uh, which we don't do, and we can't court for it, okay. I, I, do, have, I do have a Besage you, maybe that was our out too. Uh, things get, you know, I think also we have a lot of cyborg cards. We have Force of Vigor, we have Collector Oof, we have Rex Age. Um, definitely a Quarian Ranger matchup. Might be a matchup where Dwinen's Elite is kind of the card that doesn't shine very much. Could definitely see trimming like one Court of Calling, one Realm Walker also. Uh, we 4-1 with Gen Saga, then O2'd with it. I liked it. I, Lord Windgrace felt like a, a big upgrade to the deck, too. Yeah, I mean, it, what's nice about Realm Walker is, like, they can't kill it, or they, they're probably not going to be able to kill it. 
And obviously, like, we're going to have more interaction post-board, too. Uh, another hand with the mulligan, I think. Yeah. It's closer than the other hands. Uh, okay, let's keep this. I think I put back the ranger here. Put on Molda, five. Okay. A big enough upgrade to push John back into contention. I mean, I obviously couldn't answer that with just like six, seven matches played. I mean, but at, at the very least, like, John is a deck that I think is somewhat reasonable to play in modern and dwell a dream hack. It is a deck that I think has like a really reasonable matchup spread across modern, besides four color Omnath, which, um,. Lord Wingrace probably doesn't hurt that matchup, but it also, like, <laughs> you know, you are going to have a bad matchup against four color on that, no matter how you build the deck, I believe. I don't think that there is a, a good way to hedge for that, uh, the four color Omnath matchup as, as Jund. Okay, pretty likely to cord for Realm Walker. Although we can hold up, uh, maybe Rex Sage for a hammer if we need to. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, let's, uh, let's play that in attack. I don't have any white cards, uh, post-board right now, so I don't need to worry about that. I found Grist to be clutch of the four-color. Yeah, I mean, Grist is, like, good against them, for sure. Grist is good. You can play Grist uh, in the deck, but... Again, there, there's, there, I don't think there's any reasonable way to build Jund mid-range for you to have a favorable four-color matchup. I don't think that there is. It's possible. And that's okay, you know. It's modern, you're going to have bad matchups. Okay, so Rex Sage doesn't do much here with the Giver of Runes out. I think I'm just going to main phase Cord for Realm Walker. Yeah, no Collected Company in this version. The new Elf Lord kind of provides you that card advantage that Collected Company and other versions provide you while lowering the curve. And, um, yeah, yeah, that guy's Realm Walker uh, Visionary for card advantage. I don't think you need Coco anymore or want Coco. Although I will say, you know, this is kind of classic. <laughs> you know, it, it, this is the first day I'm playing the deck. There are other ways to build it, but I, there's been a lot of no Collected Company and... Very little spike. This is what I would play over Collected Company. I'm going to keep this. We have Nettle Sindel, Heritage Druid, and two sideboard cards. This hand does need to draw a one mana elf or a land, but uh, we're pretty likely to do that. Put us on another Mold of Five. Cigar to Zade. Glad to have the Rex Sage in my hand. Obviously, we need to draw, you know, that land or that one mana elf, which we do very quickly, which is great. I slided out my Dwinin's Elite, so I'm trying to think in, like, what world we want to play Heritage Root on turn one here. I don't, I can't really think of a situation. Could be important if the plan was to ball Shaman Pack. That would take place to the Cord, some of Realm Walker, possibly Query. And yeah, I mean, there's only one Query in Ranger, so I don't feel like that's, like, <laughs> the card that makes or breaks it. Okay, amazing draw. Just any one-man elf. So now I get to go Heritage Druid. Oh, I guess I could attack with the... <laughs> now. Um, into Reclamation Sage on the Cigar to Zade. And his Colossus Hammer, two mystery cards. I'm going to have five mana. So let's go one, two. Oh, I have more than that. Sorry, because I have the Rex Age is an elf. Three mana. Leave Crown Visionary. Untap. I'll pay. <laughs> I can't believe they brought in Mana Leak against elves. We get to go Elvish Warmaster, draw a card. I think I like that more than Archdruid. I mean, maybe maybe Archdruid is better here. Just get to untap with an Archdruid. <laughs> but we get to draw a card at this line. Yeah, actually, I, sh I think I should have Archdruid. <laughs> yeah, definitely. 
It still feels like we're in good shape, though. And they concede. Okay, keep the sand. Uh-oh. We're playing against Living End. We have Tranith, Magistrate, Decord 4. We have Endurance. Seems like a bad matchup for sure. Rocco, 13, thank you, thank you. Uh, if they didn't grief to me, there's like a small thought to <laughs> to maybe just going to discard. Probably not something we can ever do here. I think I'll just play the visionary and attack here. Keep seeing people ask about combo decks. No ban list. Don't seem as fast or resilient as Gak or Cloud Post. Uh, I mean, Gak is not that fast, right? Gak is like a turn three deck uh, in a format with like Belcher, Neobrands, um, potentially Tibble's Trickery if you wanted it. Um, and then Cloud Post is also not a fast deck either. So like, yeah, I, I think the, using fast to describe Gak and Cloud Post in a format with Belcher, Neobrands seems a bit weird. And yeah, the former with Chrome Mox, Mox Opal, Simeon Spirit Guide. Is that why there's no Titan decks? And no Bandless Modern? I, I mean, I don't know what the metagame of no Bandless Modern looks like. And uh, I built a deck at, that looks to be, like, very fun. Um, my, my goal for no Bandless Modern is, like, certainly going to be to have fun more than it's going to be to try to win this tournament, to be honest with you. Um, <laughs> I, I'm going to, I'm going to post the list after the tournament starts, but I've got like a pretty, I think, I think my list, I don't think my list is bad, but I, de I definitely don't think I've broken it and I'm not like trying to break it either. <laughs> It'd be a fun time. So what are you doing here? Double block grief takes six, crack the canopy end of turn, crack the canopy now. Yeah, I guess if I'm not playing the block with anything else, it's better to crack now. No, I said that I, I, I built a Phoenix Stimulage deck. I mean, it's not like too hard to build, but. Um, I got a stream Murktide was beating up on Hogak. That's interesting to hear. I have a 24, I had 28 band cards. In my deck, but I, I kind of placed it in one of them because they weren't that good. Twerker, the gifted sub. But I have 24 banned cards in my spells in my main deck. Yeah, Canister is hosting a Magic Online no ban list. Maybe I double block like this. So I can trade here. Okay, maybe I've untapped and traded there anyways. We're just we're so blind. Surprised I'm not going to be playing Aroma Six Sanctuary deck I used to love. I mean, there's. The thing about like that deck is that <laughs> it doesn't seem that good. I don't know. It seems not that bad either. Um, but I think there's I think so many people are gonna be playing like these like dopey Simic mid range decks. I don't know how excited I am for them. All right, game one against Living End seems a uh, tough. These are our four cybered cards. I'm gonna go minus two Realm Walker, minus two Elite. No, I'm gonna keep it in Elite because of the quarter callings, actually. It's maybe one Mana Elf, one Leaf Crown Visionary. Can register Kiln Fiend Saw does? That's, that's fine. Aldrazi has turn one Chalice for combo. Uh, <laughs> I guess. We'll see. I, I again. I, I I just don't really feel like this is a format that's going to be able to be broken. Oh, this hand is so good if we draw lands, but I think on the play against Living End, it's just like I need to find a sideboard card. You know. Okay, this hand has a sideboard card. This is actually really good.
Being able to court of calling for Dranath Magistrate in response to a Cascade spell is pretty cool. It's gonna sound crazy, but Darcy and Burbs is better than Demilich version, so you can race a combo Hogak deck. Dude, cutting people hate Demilich. It's just so slanderous. You wanna cut Demilich in the like Gataxian probe for metagame? <laughs> you get to play Gataxian probe. I'm never cutting Demilich ever. <laughs> I just the amount of the amount of Demilich slander is unreal. Oh, I should have named human, huh? Um, do I just cord now? I don't think so. Oh no! So I could have attacked the both. I was thinking I didn't want to shuffle. Obviously, shuffling's fine. Jeff, thank you for two months. Appreciate you. Let me actually upkeep cord, so this way I play around bounce spell and force of negation. But if I wait till end of turn, then like they just wait on the violent outburst. I'm just kind of stuck. I just can't imagine saying, let's cut Demi Lich in the freaking Gitaxian probe format. Demi Lich is faster than Chandler. You get to play him on turn one like a decent amount of the time. Maybe not that often, but often enough, dude. You know what I mean? <laughs> often enough. Okay, probably not going to shuffle that away. I don't get the sequence. Um, so I don't want to wait till end of turn to core because my opponent just holds up Violent Outburst. I have all this like wasted mana. Doing an upkeep plays around Force Navigation, plays around. Oh, wait, why, why are people asking why core? I just explained all of this. Nobody. Ah! <laughs> I, I'm playing around a bounce spell, uh, so they can't go bounce spell untap cascade. And I'm playing around force of negation. <laughs> but why? I, I chat. I just, I just explained all of it. <laughs> yeah, just one thing, Spike. Why cord now? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, just shuffle that away. Oh, we can't actually activate the Warmaster. Should kill them next turn. Yeah, I blame the black bar. Oh, another thing about like cutting a fetch line for a cavern is fetch lines are really good with Realm Walker. And this, and, and I think game, I think this game also like is a really good ca a case for Court of Calling, just like. Playing Court of Calling over Company like makes you so much better against specifically Cascade, and then obviously you have other toolbox cards like Gaddick T for other matchups too. One card that would be kind of interesting against Living in 2 would be Carrion Feeder, just being able to like court for it for one and sack your entire board. Um no sideboard cards. You have to hit them all again. Sounds really good if we draw a Court of Calling. <laughs> okay, this end has Endurance. Keep this. Not the worst mulligan. Greenback used Carry a few years ago. Guess not in this format though, right? Uh, so first thing with the Elves deck, we're 2-0 in game 3, and what is probably a really bad matchup in Living In. On a mold of 5, but our hand's pretty good. Since we haven't tested since we just say it's improved, the Elves deck is definitely improved. This new Lord is definitely good enough for the deck, I think. Definitely, I think. 100%, I'm pretty sure. Good Endurance here, I think I just like... Rely on the Magistrate, you know. Chris, nine months, thank you, thank you. Yeah, I'm just going in. 
Oh, so we're just not beating grief into bounce spell on magistrate into living end. What can I say? <laughs> yeah, who can beat that? On a multi five too? Not for me, huh? Not for me. And they and they don't have the bounce spell here. Elves attack. <laughs> ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Oh, they don't have the bounce spell. <laughs> Ooh, it's pretty good. Oops! Attack! <laughs> oh, I forgot to play Pendlehaven. Yeah, sorry, I forgot to put a Pendlehaven in here. That one's definitely worth it. <laughs> Yeah, I think one Pendlehaven, one Cavern are maybe both good. So they go to one with this block. They're dead to an Archdruid? Okay, that, this is less, at least lets me attack with my Elves again this turn. And attack with the Elves this turn is good, so they can't go fetch land, bounce spell, cascade. Attack! <laughs> oh, sorry, sorry, this doesn't put them to one, though. It puts them to two, because I didn't take with the Magistrate, obviously. Still, I think, a fine spot. Also, putting more cards in the graveyard for Living End is pretty relevant here. Okay, they passed. I think I sent it with the whole team, including the Magistrate, right? I don't know if they can have. We'll find out. Attack! <laughs> I think four color gonna choose some Dominaria. I think uh, Leyline Binding is pretty good in the deck. Let's go! 3 0 undefeated against elves. Or with elves. And also against elves, I guess. <laughs> um, I would may. No, we can't keep this on the play, but we just doesn't make an elf. Uh, Daylon, 17 months, like, thank you. Uh, we can keep this hand. I think I'm gonna put back second arch druid on the draw here. Up against a fiery islet and a goblin guide. Burn versus elves, classic matchup. Uh, we have our visionary on top. Um, let's see what do we have in the sideboard. We've got three forge tenders and a mark of asylum in the sideboard for burn. I may be playing too many Horizon Canopies. Elvish Warmaster on top. I want to draw my Mark of Asylum today. Prevent all non-combat damage that will be dealt to creatures you control. Dead. <laughs> uh, dead. Do I even play it out? <laughs> I'll play it out. I even have the stupid Horizon Canopy. Ugh. I think four color general was positioned. Uh, it's just so bad against four color Omnath and big mana. Like, I like that deck a lot when the whole metagame was just like Cascade decks, Murktide, um, and hammer time, but and sh shadow too, but that's kind of changed. I'm gonna cut Horizon Canopy post board. Dronescape, thank you for the fall. Opponent's tanking. I don't know. Um, are we? I, I just want to concede, but my opponent hasn't shown me I'm dead yet. If I don't draw land, this can effectively nets mana, or gives us some mana.
Yeah, tink, 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 searing blaze. <laughs> tink, 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 tink. Lightning bolt to the visionary. Uh, there's a forest. To the eights, then down to five. Alright, good enough for me. Game two, game two, game two. Uh, I'm going to bring in the Forge Tenders, the Mark of Asylum, one Reclamation Sage for Eidolon, maybe maybe two would be fine also. We'll, we'll keep an eye on this. I think going down to one Azuri is fine, cutting the Quarian Ranger is fine. Um, Dwayne's League can be kind of tough to get online against the burn spells. Maybe play one copy of Dwayne's Elite. Could play a second Rex Sage over Arch Druid. Eidolon just does seem so scary. Could play Force of Vigor instead. I think I'd rather play Rex Sage. Maybe 1-1, one, one, cause this because I can tutor for this Rex Age, and if I draw this one, it answers Eidolon for zero mana and zero life. Oh yeah, I wanted to cut a canopy. So maybe I do this. That's fine. Magistrate is also like almost interesting because it's 1-3. Alright, back to back no landers. We have our mark of asylum though. Which Matic Fatigue, like Blue Eye Control and Tron, Belcher, mostly. Okay, I guess this deck that really doesn't want you to side out of land, huh? Bummer. So the Mold of three, Four. Just need some help from a uh, goblin guide. Spike being greedy. What is what is greedy about this? I'm only getting three no landers in a row. <laughs> ah, JK, huh? You will live. Leaf crown visionary, you're going to live. Alright, so play the nettle sentinel because it blocks pretty well here. Oh yeah, Forge, I can target the Forge and try to go through off through the Eidolon. It's like every it's every damage this turn. I always think it's just one one prevention though. Wasn't I supposed to play Druid? Uh no, because if I I can't um This is a 3 3 blocker against a bunch of two twos. And I can't tap Druid for mana anyways. Okay, I'm assuming they don't have bolt here. If they do have bolts, we still get to trade. A path. Well, I don't have a basic planes to search up, unfortunately. <laughs> Rough. Rough, rough, rough. Three cards in the opponent's hand. Would Gallows Greeters be good? I don't think Gallows Greeters is good enough, but I would have to I'd have to think about it a little bit more, I guess. I'm gonna I'm gonna concede a thing. Tough two mold of four as elves against burn, it is what it is. I'll keep this on the draw. Legacy is also a format with less spot removal than modern, but ha yeah. I don't know, dude. <laughs> People just love to keep it the dried arbors. Death trolling, I see, I see. <laughs> yeah, I'm always so easy to bait with the dried over comments. <laughs> yeah, why aren't I playing Glimpsing Guys Cradle? Yikes, that's really good. Oh, sorry, I was definitely supposed to definitely supposed to attack first. It's been a little while since I played elves, but should be fine. Still attack here. Up with the 27th, thank you, thank you. If 
Then second C is GG. I mean, if they have second C's, we just draw off green source. We can go Elvish Warmaster into Court of Calling for something. Um, hold on, let me. So I just want to change the list for next next uh, league. Add one. How do you spell Pendlehaven though? Okay, did I did the, the trade not complete or something? Oh, there it is. I think I'm gonna play one Horizon Canopy. Oh, whoops. It's taking too long. Let's do it on the other monitor. Oh, my opponent's still taking their turn. <laughs> Temple Garden into. I think we'll try two caverns. Bounce the Spreading Seas. Bounce the Warmaster. Uh, we're gonna get to kill the Teferi. It's a good draw. Um, any world where we do anything besides just Elvish Arch Druid attack. Don't think so. Yeah, I, I got the Temple Garden back in. Thank you for the heads up. But I have not worth it with Query Ranger. I only have one Query Ranger, and I've got plenty of forests. It's still a Brennan 6 format, you know. Uh, Ragavan format. Pindlehaven is good enough for the first copy. So it seems like we're playing against like blue white control Yorion or you know just sky control four color control whatever, um, rather than the Omnath deck. Not sure exactly how much that changes for us. I can go this turn Warmaster Warmaster Court of Calling for Azuri Region all of my elves if they have Verdict here right. I should be able to. Should have plenty of mana. <laughs> yeah, if they have Wrath of God, that's so embarrassing because of the regen clause. Uh, she was with me, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna go shopping. Have fun. It's raining. <laughs> yeah, she'll probably be up here. How, how's her uh, anxiety been? Um, it just now started raining a little heavier. But it's not gonna be like super thunderstormy, so it should be okay. She's she's just clingy. Mm -hmm. Should be fine. She's clingy. Did you not like the toast? Oh, I I do like. It. I just got kind of full and focused, but I'll, I'll finish it. Oh, it's okay. As long as you like it. <laughs> All right. So really hoping that they just like slam verdict to me when. Supreme Verdicts, my worst weakness is elves. Wouldn't it be a shame if I'm courted for a Zuri? <laughs> Take this, collected company enjoyers. Can't regenerate the Azuri itself, but we get to regenerate. All of our non-tokens and one of our tokens. Can you company do this? Not consistently. <laughs> Not consistently. Maybe some amount of the time. Probably killing the next turn, right? No peanut butter. Oh, probably, I probably should move this a little way from her. <laughs> Yeah, company fans in shambles. Ooh, they have solitude. They could have played around this. Three cards left in their hand. So I'm no longer killing them with a Zuri pump this turn. Pretty sure I'm just gonna <laughs> cast this and get in there. If they have two verdicts plus solitude in their 80 card deck, good for them. We get to complain. And maybe, you know, still win. Looks like they have it. They would have been they the concession would have happened by now, probably. Uh 80 cards, by the way. Two cards left in their hand though. 
80 cards, by the way. <laughs> Come on, dude. Another Yoran gets to draw them two cards. Although, if they do just go Yorian next turn, it's chump blocking my Azuri. Oh, they're dead next turn if they just Yorian. No, they pitched Restoration, Angel of Solitude. <laughs> there it is, Yorian, two mystery cards. They have to answer the Azuri. And if all they can do is answer the Azuri, they're dead to the Dwine's Leet. They're dead if they're Yorian with no answer. Solitude is such a perfect card here. It's frustrating. <laughs> Just every every single turn, eighty cards by the way. Eighty cards by the way. <laughs> so they they needed to have that solitude for they needed to have that solitude for the. Um, Arch Rooter, they're dead too. So brutal. Why not attack? Uh, this has lifelink. I guess I guess maybe attack with just the Dwinin's Elite. Yeah, so I should attack with just the Dwinin's Elite. Yeah, no, it was good to attack with the Elite. Because they're going to get to Flick Grip. Yeah, you're right. Sorry, I'm emotionally defeated this game. Get to bring in a Teague. Um... That's about it. Oh, they, they they got greedy trying to find their land off of this. And now I get to go Leaf Crown Visionary, they'll counter it. <laughs> uh, but we do get to force the block here. Winning this game would be so sick. So if I attack with everything and they have a removal spell, they kill this, take five, gain three up to six. Alternatively, they just die if they don't have a removal spell. Yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna <laughs> not play around it. Yeah, if they have restoration, we'll just lose if they have resto no matter what, right? Two cards on top. That's bad. Ah, what? They must have solitude. If they concede after putting two cards on top, I'm gonna laugh so hard. <laughs> they have to have solitude. Two cards on top again. Oh, sorry, sorry, I accidentally muted myself out of shock. Actually stunned there. Two Kwasali Ambushers. Unreal. <laughs> I don't know what to say, dude. Um, I'm going to bring in the Teague. I'm going to cut um, something. Yeah, I agree. That was one of the most tilting games I've ever played. Yeah, Kwasali Ambusher is a 3-mana 2-3 that you can play for um, <laughs> you can play for 0 if you control a plains and a forest and your opponent is attacking you with a, cr a creature. Pretty cool card. Yeah, it's good against Ragman. It's, inter it's interesting with the Bant Trium. Weird card to main deck in your Verdict deck, though. Alright, ending the Mystic. He has to reach to him. <laughs> no, put ahead the band triome. We had a forest. If my opponent had counterspell in their hand, surely they're not going tank, 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 tank. Hold up counterspell here, right? So I think I'm gonna slam the Arch Druid. Maybe it's just good posturing, I don't know. Play this pre-combat for the extra damage on the Sentinel. Then 
Thankfully, they don't have a forest for ambusher. Although, I guess this beats the ambusher in combat now. So I think I'm pretty like good to go next turn, assuming assuming they're going to set up for like a supreme verdict. I'll go like Elvish Mystic, Dwinen's lead, then Cord for Gaddic Teague on their upkeep. Pre combo is good. They might wake up and ice my land. <laughs> yeah, maybe. <coughs> that happened to me the other day. I, I was playing as a Murktide player uh, with two mana up, and I cast like a Thoughtseize, and they tapped two mana in response, and they iced my land. And I thought like 100% they were just casting Counterspell instead, and I just clicked OK. And they, they tapped my land, I couldn't cast Persist. <laughs> but. <laughs> What do you guys like to do while your opponent's resolving over the seas? I think like learning a brand new language might be a good use of uh, use of that time. Maybe Italian. Counter the War Master. So if I attack here, I mean, if they're going to counter the War Master, they're probably not setting up for Supreme Verdict, right? Famous last words, I guess. Famous last words, but I don't think I'm supposed to play around it. I like to ask Aspiring Spike his opinion on Dry Arbor while my opponents resolve over to the sea. <laughs> well fought! Well fought, well fought, opponent. Uh, okay, we 3 2 that league. Uh, we're going to rejoin with <laughs> uh, a couple different utility lands. Thank <laughs> you.